Ahoy hoy, and welcome to r slash dank memes from site 19, where I go over the dankest memes from the r slash dank memes from site 19 subreddit. It's nice to be doing something that's a little lighter than the uh, fair of last week. It's also a week late, so we'll probably get next Tuesday yet another dank memes video. So, uh, yeah, fun times. All right. Fulfills your quiet. Bleh. Fulfill your client's requests or completely ruin their whole life. Datto presses both. You know, I've always thought that was funny about Datto. You might be like, how could it possibly get things so wrong? But when you're dealing with, first of all, there's a, a strong uh, opinion and or theory that uh, Datto does what he does deliberately because he's just an agent of chaos sort of thing. But even if he isn't, when you're dealing with anomalies, things that essentially in, in a lot of ways are infinities. I like to think of it that from that perspective, getting it slightly wrong, <laughs> just slightly wrong is enough to ruin somebody's life. And Datto gets it very wrong quite often. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but it is, uh, it's an, it's an interesting story tack. I still feel almost like it's, like, there's a limited it's very that it's I, I feel that it's a very limited thing like you can't keep doing it but he keeps doing it wesley williams dj cactus Do see uh wesley williams i believe that's supposed to be the is that moto 42 never seen their is that wait is that i i have to assume that's moto 42 supposedly I mean, I'm sure it's public and everything, but, um, hmm. Also, don't feel like I belong in the same category as some of these people in here, but, um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> hey, I even got, uh, I even got the Ninja Turtle I like the most. That's nice. Ah, man. Yeah, the SCP Wiki has come a long way since the, uh, since the late 2000s. Boy, three decades. Well, I mean, not three decades as in 30 years, but three different decades worth of uh, content at this point and keeps on keeping on. If I had a n <laughs> in the end, we come back to this kind of stuff, the repeats. If I had a nickel for every time the foundation contained an eldritch entity that looked like a deer, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. There's this, there's the Ronald Reagan thing. Honestly, though, like, if you... You look hard enough on the SCP Wiki, you're going to find doubles of a lot of things. What's funny is you don't find doubles of some things that you would expect there to be doubles of. So, like, uh, my best example for that would be uh, the Little Misters, because you could make multiple Little Misters, especially since they're sentient entities, it would, each with their own story. The same core anomaly, but a completely different story. You could just redo them. Like, the idea that, like, there's no such thing as a, coll I mean, well, that's not true. That, but there are very few collectible sets where there's just one of every individual collectible. The whole point is that there's multiples of everything. And some there might be more of, you know, there might be more Mr. Fish than there are uh, <laughs> Mr. Lies and so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many things in the wiki that are done more than once. But you can just keep doing the stories as many times as you want to, as long as you've got original content and it doesn't suck. SCP-173 right now. <laughs> SCP-173. I mean, why not? If it's on, if it generates a material that needs to be cleaned regularly, why wouldn't you do that? That I'm just saying, make it so that it's tilted so that the material flows down into, yeah. Why not? Foundation researchers, after the D-class gets brutally stabbed, eviscerated, or gets their, tor their guts torn out. Noted. Yeah, it is interesting that the... See, okay. In, in certain stories. This is not true of every story, and it's not true of every canon. But if anyone has watched my You're Wrong About D-class video... So the SCP Foundation should be treating... Uh, these people like they are incredibly valuable and rare resources but instead they treat them like pence like a pencil like oh i broke a pencil it's okay i'll just get another one <laughs> i mean uh 
it's it's weird that the and it's weird that that happens in stories so like when someone like even if they don't care that they've been killed like in a in a uh what's the word i'm looking for in a human sense like oh my god this bad terrible thing just happened to this person they should care about the fact that they just cost the scp foundation a valuable resource and the scp foundation should care that a valuable resource especially in the cases where there are a lot in series one where they're preventable deaths anyway how does the scp foundation <laughs> not run out of death row inmates the scp foundation to answer that Wait, is is it? I mean, that is Mario. To answer that, we need to talk about the parallel universes. It's me, Mario. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if this particular version of him even talks that way. Who knows? Um, so this is the other half of this. Like in those stories, like legitimately there must be some other way that they're getting their D class because otherwise the stories just don't make any sense at all from a logical sense. I like to think more on the sense that, uh, in, or I should say in my stories, the SCP foundation exists in a more grounded, realistic setting. So they would treat D class to be incredibly valuable resources. Uh, but you could conceivably, create a version of the foundation that just has access to infinite d class like with cloning or there's some scps that can create more people and so on and so forth or parallel universes <laughs> uh, showcasing a meme that mentions dr sumerian showcasing any other meme dr sumerian yeah goddamn right there were a lot funnily enough there were a lot in the list this time around that mentioned sumerian which is good do you like my new shirt? It's probably my favorite right now. Dr. Sumerian, hold on. You're wrong about this t-shirt. What the hell? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Is, is it in, in, am I in frame? Oh, there we go. You're wrong about this t-shirt. I have, I should probably wear this more often. <laughs> I do wear it when I go out because, uh, some of my shirts are missing buttons, so it's nice to have a shirt underneath it. But um, I really got to get some new clothes. And a brighter colors, I think. <laughs> uh, man. But yeah, no, you're wrong about this t-shirt. You're wrong about this poster. I still, I should have done this already. I should have made the you're wrong about this face mask, face mask. Because that's perfect, man. When you have a nightmare about an SCP. Oh no, my new tail. Anyway. I mean, that is one way to look at it. I don't really personally have nightmares. I think the closest I had recently was like uh, somebody was asking me to do something and I didn't understand what they were trying to ask me to do. Like that's the closest I've had to actual anxiety from <laughs> from a dream. When I have a, a dream where things go wrong, like terribly wrong, I just I always I, I don't have control over my dreams, but I know I'm dreaming like when I'm dreaming, my my mind is somehow conscious of the fact that it's not real. So when it gets extremely weird, I will wake up in a <laughs> in a fit of like like annoyance at the illogical nature of the story. Um, and I make that that sounds like I'm exaggerating, but that's actually pretty much exactly what happens. Like I'll be like. Oh, that doesn't make any sense at all and then i'm awake uh so i don't just i don't just critique the stories that i read on the internets i also critique the stories in my own head but there's an idea that i had a while back uh, i think the quote i come up with was uh when you're an scp writer you don't have nightmares you have unconscious inspiration <laughs> be careful about that though sometimes you'll have a dream about something that you did read elsewhere and you're like you may accidentally steal somebody else's idea which is bad <laughs> which is bad oh man sorry <laughs> that's all if you enjoyed the video scroll down and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when i upload new videos and if you really want to support the channel Head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100. 
It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.